everybody this is Helen from Communicart here and I'm just back from the most amazing trip that I've had to Marrakesh for a few days. It's been a great opportunity to get my little 10 by 10 centimeter sketchbook that just fits into any pocket that I that I have on me. What do I sketch when I go away or if I'm just on a sketching trip? People, places, anything that catches my attention. And I'm just, I was having a conversation with a lady on the plane going over, Najat. That's lovely. No photograph will help me to remember Najat more than this little sketch that I did of her. Just a precious little moment there. Other people just quickly working in very simple materials that I'll show you what I use. People just sat in a bar. Just look how quick, how how awful that is in a way. I'm not so proud of this, but just using a pen, just the umbrellas. People sat at a bar, just taking some quick notes. People sitting at bars, look at how one person is before another, another is behind, just capturing the moment, not looking for a result. Okay, other people, little landscapes above, sat on a rooftop, just having a drink and then just quickly sketching the mosque. I also, uh, one thing that I did like also were the spindly cacti plants. They were a great thing, a great subject matter to draw. And here I even got out, you know, just a quick watercolour wash just to give it a hint of colour. And then other people sat around taking my notes as I go on. It just makes the whole experience of, you know, getting that sensory input, observing and just quietly sketching it down. It just makes for a deeper and fuller holiday experience. I love the arches. I love the deep, rich red colours, the people walking through the little alleyways. It's just a suggestion, just little colours. I only had watercolours here in this particular instant. I wanted to get a feel of the earthy colours and then the more rich, vibrant colours. And then just a little trip out of Marrakesh into a desert-like region and how basically the, the blue, the white of the sky, the pinky sand. And then I was just really interested in just how a few, like these trees, a few details are what makes the image, what grounds the image. A tiny flat house in this huge skyscape. Two telegraph poles in the middle of nowhere, literally. But they just hold that image together. A, a brick wall, just like a line of bushes and like um, a house in the distance, just giving a feeling of depth. The materials that I took with me, super simple. Just um, a simple set of watercolours with a palette inside so that you can mix the colours straight away. Just a few, just a few paint brushes, watercolour brushes, okay. Um, these fine liner pens, fantastic for sketching. I took a few of those pencils, just a few pens. And then just to use a little bit of colour, I took um what we call ink tanks blocks these are fantastic very very lightweight look at all the incredible colors that you can get with these ink tank blocks all you do is draw with them add water and you get that rich inky color i also just took a couple of synthetic um brushes for the paint because these are just so hardy and resistant you're not going to you're not going to ruin them out and about.
I do tend to be a bit of a morning person and a cup of coffee just gets me in the mood but with very few people around and just the quiet and the birds singing it was just lovely to get out of my head and enter that more sensorial state of being you know using my antenna just letting the world in just observing objects and simple things around me and then just putting it onto paper without being too precious i'm not making works of art this is not the concept you know it's nothing like high art at this stage it really is just let me put down my impressions and really when you look back at these sketchbooks after years you know you can remember places people smells colors emotions a lot better than you can a photograph it's so strange this working with the hand and the eye and how very potent it is Later, returning home, I was sifting through a number of photographs that I'd taken and it was really great fun just to choose a few that caught my eye and create a sort of mood board to really distill what it was that I was interested in, in this experience. And I found it to be the rich colours that we wouldn't necessarily find maybe where we live normally. So unusual colour combinations, unusual architecture, monotone. I really enjoyed um, looking at the arches with that earthy grey, beige, brown colour and how just using that limited palette, how colourful and earthy the colour the, um, the colour becomes also the texture on some of the old rickety doors you know the paint was peeling off but they were like paintings in themselves the colour the sunlight was so bright and then the juxtaposition bright oranges yellow lilac blue all placed together in that stunning light so you know as a sort of end process just by sifting through these images I can really distill and you know discover what was special for me about the destination that I went to and I think that what I am have here could be a good jumping block to creating an image of my experience. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. Also bear in mind that I run a one hour online course dealing with holiday sketchbooks at a super interesting rate. Take a look at the details below.